Ollie Matthews here, creator of the Revitalization Blueprint, international best selling author of the One Day Body Upgrade, and health optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Now that bit's over, giving some people a few seconds just to log into this live, and if you're watching the replay, boom, thank you very much. Remember when you were younger and you were at school, maybe middle school, high school, and you got to the point where you wanted to ask that hot girl out? It was the girl of your dreams. The one that, when you started speaking to her, you got butterflies and started fumbling your words as if you just met your idol, the big footballer, the big pop star, just fumbling your words. The one that you probably had your first wet dream over or something. Let's be honest, you probably did, right? Well, that is the same as your health. Sometimes you have to take action and not just have a wet dream about your health. What do I mean? Well, the things that could have happened by asking that girl out, chances are you would be in the same situation, or you would have got picked on because you asked the girl out and she said no. But three, four, five weeks down the line, people forget about it. Kids are kids. They can be bullies. They can be bastards. Bitches can be bitches. She may say, it's not you, it's me. Let's just be friends. I don't want to ruin our friendship. And I'm not dating right now. You're not dating? Lady, you're like 13 years old. Okay, if anyone's logged in, I'm talking about the girl who was at school, which we were trying to ask out on a date. I'm not talking about asking out a 13 year old, just for clarity. Now, your health is exactly like this. Because I see entrepreneurs all around the world that are posting on Facebook asking for help, which is cool. And that's not the bit that's scary. It's admitting that you need the help and admitting that you need to ask for it, actually asking an individual for it, is cool. But actually doing something about it, doing something about your health, looking to drop the fat, looking to increase your energy, your focus, your optimization, getting your performance levels through the roof, that is scary. That is exactly like asking that girl out at school. The one you had the wet dream over. Now, stop having a wet dream about your health. Because yes, it is scary. What if it doesn't work again? What if the wife sees you fail again? What if the wife sees you watching a Facebook video talking about a girl at school that you had a wet dream over? Probably again. But what if it does work? What if you hit the DM, you say, hey, Ollie, look, I do need some help with my health. I do need to increase my focus. I know that my waist has got a bit too big for its waist. It's just gone Thanksgiving. I'm feeling a bit blurry. It's the holiday season. And look, I'm an action taker and I don't want to wait until the January. I don't want to wait until February when I've got 20, 30, 40 pounds more to lose. Because I've seen people increase their weight in one month just by waiting by about 30, 40 pounds. No bullshit there. What if it does work? What if one morning before school you woke up, you decided to put your socks on, your lucky socks, your lucky pants, you done them up, tightened the belt, tucked your shirt in, like a fucking boss. You walked to school like a fucking boss. You went into that lunch hall and you just said, look, honey, grab your coat, you're pulled. Can't think of a better job line then, but you asked her out for a date and she said yes. How fucking great would you feel? You asked the girl from school that every guy wanted to date. You asked her out, she said yes, and she became your girlfriend. That is exactly... That is exactly the feeling people get when they hire me as their health optimization and accountability coach. They get that feeling of being the fucking boss. When they have loads of energy, when they have loads of focus, their performance increases, their bottom line increases and their waistline decreases, that feeling is fucking awesome. And it is your choice if you want to ask that girl out 
or keep having wet dreams about her? I know which one your wife would choose. It's up to you to make the decision. Right?